I'm Cecilia the Amateur, and you're watching a haul video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the description box down below for more details. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and like you could see in the title of this video, I am doing a haul from all from the estate sales that I've been to and garage sales since living here in Texas. My brain was like, no, my hands are already on it. I already took off the price tag. The first estate sale was like dipping our toes into it and that's why I was like mm, I kind of like it I kind of don't I did come across a sewing machine um, at the first estate sale and it was already on the second day so it was discounted pretty low I got the sewing machine plus the sewing equipment for really cheap I think it was only $50 I didn't start going to estate sales until I moved to Texas and until my husband came along with me I know that there's some in California, we just never went to them. And also, I didn't really want to go to estate sales because my initial thought was they sell big furniture and just like home decor items. And since I live in an apartment and it's really tiny, we weren't looking for any furniture or home decor items. But I was obviously wrong. And my husband came across this website that you could sign up and they show you all your local estate sales or you could even look up other cities or other towns around your area and he came across one that had a picture of Barbies and we all know that I love Barbies and I said we have to go and we went and majority of the Barbies were already gone because of course I'm not the only one who likes them especially if they're like vintagey looking this was actually the second estate sale that I went to that I came across Barbies but I was excited but I also didn't know what their budgeting was gonna be like and estate sales nowadays they're no joke the people really do their research and they price Barely. They look up the market and they see how much an item is costing. One also thing that I notice is obviously every day they mostly estate sales last three days and every day the price changes because they want to get rid of things so they start discounting items. But that doesn't generally mean that the item that you want will be there because all the good items are usually gone by the first day. And mind you they open really early but I get off of work in the afternoon and a lot of the stuff have had already been picked out for like the whole thing so i saw all these barbies on the table i quickly facetimed my sister and she's also surprised because she as much as she doesn't like to really like collect them or play with them she did miss like when we were growing up she played with barbies and she loved it but she was happy she saw them too she was like oh my gosh you're gonna grab any i started grabbing without even looking at prices at first because I was just, it was like a kid in a candy store. I I just, I need them all. And a lot of them were already, um, that I saw in the picture were already like, taken. And I was really sad. But then I also noticed that this person that lived here had repeats. As collectors do. So I was kind of happy about that. Because I was like, well if I take one, you know, I'm not going to feel bad. Because someone else can just grab the other one. There were definitely reproduction Barbies, but they were still really pretty. And they were in their box. Some of them were open, but they were all in their original box. And they had all their items. And there was a lot of other ones that were old, like from the 60s or 70s. And they came in these cases. And those dolls looked a little bit more used. And I was like, okay, I'm not really going to get those. I want to get the ones that just are calling out to me. And we started looking at prices and we're like, oh my god, even after the discount, it's going to be a little pricey. And I was just like, I don't want to spend that much money. But I ended up spending, I think, $100 a day maybe? $160 still. Yeah. First doll that I immediately gravitated to because I always wanted it and I've seen many collectors have and I feel like you're not a real collector if you don't have her. I don't know why. That's just my thought. It was this one. I just love her dress because it has all the Barbies. Well, not all of them, but it has 
like pictures of Barbies, you know, from the past. And it's just so beautiful. 50th anniversary or 50 years of, an, of, of Barbie or something like that. So it's 50 years of trends and fashion, Couture. And dreams for the girl and all of us. Meaning me. I don't remember how much I paid for this Barbie at the estate sale. All I know is that she was discounted and she was one of my pricier ones. And then this is a back picture of it. I just think it's gorgeous. I wish I had a painting of this so I could actually frame it. I do plan to take her out eventually because I don't like having them in their boxes. That's just me. I just, because I want to be able to touch her dress and actually see it up close. I just don't want to open her while I live in the apartment. My dream is to one day own a home and have a space for all my dolls. This is the first one that I gravitate to. I was like, there was only one of these, so I was like, I'm, th you're coming home with me. Th this one was a, no questions asked, I'm taking her home. The second doll that I saw, there was a lady that was looking at her with her daughter. So I was like, uh, you know, I'm not going to take it away from her. She probably really likes it. But then there was other dolls that looked similar to that one around her, but they were just on the pricier side. I don't know why, because they're not like, like I said, these were not the vintage ones. These are definitely pr reproduction. I never seen this one before until this day. It's the Campus Sweetheart. And she reminds me, my sister and I started laughing because when I showed her this, um, we immediately thought of this telenovela that we liked growing up called La Supadora. I think that's what you call it. It's. I don't even want to get into it, but the character looked like this Barbie. Like this Barbie looks like that character and we loved her. So that was one of the reasons why I liked her. And I just feel like when I'm older, I want to be able to like cut my hair like that and just vibe, you know, I just love the short hair Barbie dolls. I used to cut my Barbie dolls hair, not badly, okay? I was a really good hairdresser for my dolls. This was one of the ones that I saw and I really loved and she was pricey. A girl should always possess poise and pleasing personality. But this, this vintage reproduction campus sweetheart Barbie doll wears a recreation of a favorite fashion 1616 from, nine, from 1965 Barbie. Doll receives a coveted title along with a rose bouquet and trophy. Wearing a white satin gown with tulle overskirt in hues of red. So on this exact same um, estate sale that went going on on the third day, I wanted to go back. And again, I went after work and I went by myself first. My husband came along after, but when I walked in the door, there was a sign that said, whatever fits in the bag, the bag is $3. So whatever you could fit into the bag. So I grabbed a bag, or no, I didn't even grab a bag because I'm like, maybe I'm not gonna find anything. I started walking around. I was like, I don't really need anything. And a lot of stuff was like big. People were already holding bags of stuff. I also didn't mention that I ended up buying Christmas items from that estate so I got they're not here with me because I, I already put them away and it's a hassle to take them out but you will see them during Christmas time and what I grabbed for the three dollar bag is funny but this is probably one of my favorite items of all time what I'm about to show you is not first I'm gonna show you the little stupid thing that I got because I'm like, what the heck, you know? It's this little Barbie bag. I can use it to store my Barbie stuff. I think there's something in here that I ended up buying on that day. Yes. So, this was also there loosely. This dress. Super cute. Super adorable. It's from a Barbie that I want. Which, now it's funny because I actually own the Barbie. So, now I have a second dress for it. Which is fine. But, this was there, like, loose. And the original price is $5, but since you can put whatever you want in the bag, it was, you know, probably like practically free at this point. So I got this little bag. You know, I don't, I don't remember the original price for this bag, but I wasn't going to pay anything over. So I just shoved that in the bag. And then I got... I got this, this, because I'm like, what the heck? $3, show it in the back. <laughs> like, whatever fits in the back. So, this is actually not mine. I don't want it. I grabbed it. 
but I don't even want it. My mom, I'm gonna give it to my mom. She already said she claimed it, so whenever I see her, I'm gonna give it to her. I'm not gonna ship it because it's gonna cost more money to ship it than what I paid for it, so that's that. So, this is for my mom. She loves angels. It fit, it fit in the bag, so there you go. Now, this item. I grew up wanting, and I wanted to be a cool kid. It's, it was all the rage. I don't know if it was like, it was definitely obviously late 90s, early 2000s or mid 2000s, but it was a trend. All the celebrities had it, all the cool kids had it. And I just always wanted one like these, but they were so expensive. I didn't have a job, I was a kid. And now it's like vintage. It's this bag, I went inside the closet of this home and I was just like looking around not paying attention and then I came across this bag and I just said if it's psh, throw it in the bag I didn't even really think about it but this is one of the biggest items that that was in my bag this juicy couture bag that I, I am obsessed with this is my favorite thing that I bought so now because of this purse when I go to estate sales I I go to the closets now because I don't know what else I'm gonna find but it's this juicy couture bag that I absolutely love so so much it's like heavy it has the pocket on this side with the pocket on this side and then on the inside it's all magnetic Oh my god, I have one of my clips there. But, you know, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's, you know, it barely even looks like it was used. I just love it. And then it still has the little mirror. I mean, how adorable is that? It still has the plastic, which I'm going to take off. Look at that. It's like brand new. And then, you know, to know that it's legit, it has a tag. You know, it has a little pocket here for your cell phone, your little flip phone. Because it says hello. That This pocket was for your phone. My phone doesn't fit here now, but that's why I want to get a flip phone. And then, it's just, it's just, it fits everything. It fits everything, I, and I love it. And I love that it's heavy. I love the sound of the, of the handle. And then it has like this thing hanging in the front. I mean, come on. I hit gold with this. I hit gold. Like, I love it. You can't say no. So, because of this bag, I started looking on Mercari to see if I found some. Obviously, I did, but some of them were already sold out. And some of them were just way too expensive. But now I'm in the hunt for these. Like, I want another one in a different color. And I want a big one. Because they're just, they're so cute. And they feel everything. They fit with every look. I always wanted one growing up and I'm just happy that I have one now. And I think I'm all that in a bag of chips when I wear this. I think I'm the most coolest girl ever to walk on this earth. I'm just kidding, but no, I do feel cuter wearing this bag. So this was the most recent estate sale that we went to and it was about an hour away. I went after work, so it was still early in the morning, which gave us a lot of time. And I didn't even know what we were going there for. Four. I had no idea but my husband insisted that we went to it and I know why he didn't want to tell me but at the same time it's like I mean I was gonna go there anyways but that's besides the point we went in and there was a discount because it was already like the second day and we just split it up and we were just looking and I go straight to the closets the toys but I wasn't finding any toys that were like calling my name I don't even think I saw anything until he found the dolls for me. He just came into the room, he found me. And I think the first one that he was holding was this one. I wanna say this one. And this is, I always, like, at the second estate sale that we went to, I did see a doll similar to this. And she was a lot more pricier at the estate sale. It was like $150 and it was like a different version of this doll. And my sister almost wanted me to get her and I was just like, she's just way too expensive, dude. Like I can't get I can't do it. But this time when I saw it, I was like, I have to get my hands on her because she is just A pretty and two, I see her all the time on Makari and I just wanna get her. And she it was my most pricier one. She was retailed at $70. I don't know how like low it went down to after the discount. Cause I don't remember what the discount was. 
but it's this doll right here, the Francie collection. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I never had one. This is our limited edition Francie doll. Uh, reproduces a hard to find 1967 original with lifelike bendable legs and twist and turn waist and realistic eyelashes which is so exciting realistic eyelashes this is another doll that i won't be opening up soon but i do plan to unbox her later on in the future and she does come with the camera it's in here it's just like loose but she has everything her shoes her gloves everything and i'm just i can't wait to open her up because look at the colors it's just so pretty and it just matches what I like about my Barbies uh, as far as like color scheme. And I'm just like happy. And I, I've been, I do have the search bar open in Macari for more dolls. Because I just, I'm obsessed. But again, they're just pricier. But again, I saw her. My husband even asked me like, is she worth it? I'm like, oh, yes. And this is the one that I just showed you the dress of. But now I have the doll of. And she's been open. Look at her. But she has everything with her. I see it. You know, I don't know where her shoes are. They're in there floating somewhere. I've been wanting this doll for a while now, too. Her, the year is 1960. And Barbie wears one of the most popular vintage fashions. Enchanted evening in her white furry stole. Exquisite ice pink satin gown. It's funny how they use all these, like, you know words so her gloves are like up to her elbow super cute and i'm just happy that i have her i also do have the christmas ornament for her i got that at a different estate sale i don't remember which one but this estate sale is the one that i went ham on because i'm like i did not we did not drive here for an hour to not buy everything that i see in my hand so i'm like this time i'm gonna go ham because i don't know when the next estate sale is gonna be i don't I've been into Barbie cases lately and that's because I just want them to be able to put away my Barbies and their items just nicer when I do finally open them or when I have the space and also I think cases are just gorgeous because I love organized stuff that are pretty. I do have a few of them already that I bought from Macari and things like that but I came across these. There was a lot more but these were like in my my personal opinion in better condition and also like again i i want to spend a lot of money but i got this one it's for two dolls and this one is sleep in case sleep in case i don't even know how to open it here we go some of them are velcro some of them are not but i think this one has stuff inside that yeah this one has a few items inside that i haven't even like really looked at i mean this one has an entire bed it has an entire bedroom i mean come on how cool is that i mean it can't get any more cooler than this you know what i mean so i never owned anything like this growing up i always made my own rooms with cardboard boxes old vhs uh boxes and tissue boxes and whatnot but it has like these little cubbies down here and there's like a lot of like hangers like goose hangers and like some random shoes it's funny because this shoe looks like the one that i just have the fancy doll and then there's like some old you know plates in here but there's this purse and i just love the bedroom like i want to be able to display it open just like this with dolls how cute would that be it's just super cute and you can fit dolls in here on the side it has room for two dolls see one two and then you could just hang their stuff right here because there's a bar right here that you can hang their clothes let me see if i could hang it yeah see you can hang clothes on that bar i mean how cool is that i mean look at the color it's so cute and it's just you know there's a lot of dust there's a lot of dust. Um, what does this one say? This one says Barbie and Skipper. And I do have a Skipper doll. And I'm going to show you. This is Barbie and Skipper. And then you open it like this. Oh my goodness. 
this one also has for two dolls obviously barbie and skipper they go here and then it has this area right here which i think you gotta honestly put in our doll but you can also hang stuff on this little thing right here and then it has like these little drawers right here so you can like put you know their accessories oh my god i can put it back barbie accessories and skipper accessories and then if you can't see but it has these little bars up here that you can hang their clothes as well so there's that one and i've been trying to get them differently because i don't want any repeats obviously and then i got these bags filled with stuff too and we're just gonna go through them obviously one by one and let me tell you a lot of this stuff is not dolls but it's doll related oop the book came out i found these vintage books at the these were in the garage so the cases and everything else was in the garage always go to the garage I found these vintage Barbie books. They are in little bad shape. They don't smell, but they are real readable. And then, you know, they have pictures and I want to read them. I can't wait to do that. Let me know if you are interested in a sit down read with me. And then there's a lot of clothes, vintage clothes. That I, I need to open it and like wash it. But I also came across vintage barbie uh what do you call it gift wrapping oh i don't know how i'm gonna use it yet i'm like still trying to figure that out like i, I don't want to use it for an actual like gift wrapping because it's like no one's gonna appreciate it as much as i do do you know what i mean do some collage work or something and then i have this this is just in the barbie outfit from like the 80s i want to say it's just super cute just oh I don't, I don't even know what it says. There's stuff marked in the back. And there's like this vintage outfit right here. I don't know this one. No, it's definitely vintage Barbie. It has the shoes, the little hat vest i have vintage barbie so i have to then look at this beauty right here it's a whole coat with the hat and a purse the purse right here vintage barbie clothes because it has a barbie tag right there super cute look at it it's kind of hard to tell because it's like white on white or off white so it's like vintage barbie and I want to dress up my Barbies in these. Like, I have this funky outfit. Um, my, 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 this doesn't have the year either. Doesn't have the year. Oh, 1994. So not the 80s. It was 1994. So this one has stickers. You put the stickers on the dress. I don't know. I just, I just grabbed it. I grabbed it and I just like, I need everything needs to come home with me. And this is where I was like, I hit the jackpot because we came across these two bags filled, which is random Barbie stuff. And it said $20, but these were not $20. They were probably like $10 or probably $15. I don't know. But there's just a bunch of random stuff. I think this one has Ken clothes in here too. And this one has barbie clothes and it's just a random just an assortment i i haven't got i haven't opened any of these because i don't want to make a mess of it but there's definitely a lot of ken clothes and by the looks of it there's a lot of vintage ken clothes in here um from dolls that i thought i was never gonna like own it's just a bunch of barbie clothes and ken clothes i don't own a ken doll anymore I, the last time I owned a Ken doll was when I was 11 years old. That 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 was probably like I don't have any of my old stuff anymore. And then there was this one with like a brush and some flats, and the flats are like super cute, like little ballerina flats and the Barbie brush. Then there's this one right here, this little like lingerie setup right here reminds me of Victoria's Secret. It's definitely like. Fashion Avenue type vibes, super cute, or Fashion Touches. This is another one. 
a vintage. I remember seeing this growing up and I'm like, ah, gotta have it. And this one is just fun with crayons. I mean, how exciting is this? I don't think the stickers are gonna work, but come on out. I was thinking maybe I can like repurpose the clothes. I don't know, I could do something. Oh, <laughs> there's just a bunch of gold purses. It reminds me of Mexico because we used to go to the, uh, it's a flea market in Mexico and they had a bunch of like Barbie stuff there and they used to make like purses like this so this gave me that nostalgic vibe of the purses that we used to buy in Mexico at the flea markets. And then last but not least, the woman, this woman was really smart. She, she, she said I'm going to take this opportunity and just run with it. So there was the estate sale. And then across the street, she was like having her garage sale or her yard sale. And I was just like, let's go. So we went. And the first thing I noticed was this Barbie right here. She's she's a mess. But I believe this is Skipper. And correct me if I'm wrong. But I believe this is Skipper. Or at least a version of her. Um, I want to say this was the beach version because she has braids and... You know, she's obviously a mess, but I want to say this is like the beach version. This is obviously not her original clothing. Um, but yeah, she has flat feet. I used to have a skipper doll, but I gave her away because I feel like the little girl deserved it better than me. But I have her again. And then, not only that, but she also had... The lady was super happy though that I, that I was a Barbie lover because she's a Barbie lover. And she also showed me this doll from the 60s, like an original... 1960s vintage doll that I never held in my hands before and I have a picture of it I'm gonna show it up in the screen right now and I took a picture of it because that's how happy I was she's like this one is not for sale obviously for obvious reasons but since I know that you appreciate Barbie as much as I do and I love her and you love her here you go take a look at her this doll looked a little bit beat up but she was OG and then not only that but this little doll came with all of these clothes. And I think she sold it to me for $7. Like this whole thing. $7. She was like $8. I was like, I only have seven. She's like, that's fine. You know, it's old and it has like kind of smell to it because it's been locked away and stored for a really long time. But I haven't opened any of these. But one of the things that we bought at the estate sale is my camera stand that I'm using right now. It's It was like 40 bucks. <sighs> Uh, I didn't buy it, my husband did. He went back. We originally didn't get it the first time, but he went back and he got it. And I was super I happy. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to become a member of the Amateur Family. And check out the description box down below for more Ooh, details. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system I don't wanna be a 